Barclays that began the steep decline and in the following 40 minutes of trading, shares in the country's biggest banks were sold down and down again. The market giving its own interpretation of the out-of-hours crisis meeting between banking bosses and the Chancellor. RBS lost 40% of its value before creeping back up again slightly. But no one, it seems, is banking on the banks. The stakes are exceptionally high and the confidence is absolutely on the floor. So unless something happens soon, whether or not this bailout in the US works, whether we're actually going to do anything here in the UK, we need some sort of direction. We need some sort of clarity from the government so the markets can gain at least a minimal amount of confidence back. Despite denials from the banks, it was reported they'd asked the government for recapitalisation funds, a cash injection, and true or not, the markets didn't like it. The government would be higher up in the queue compared with shareholders, uh, which is one of the reasons why bank shares have absolutely nosedived this morning. The growing realisation that if this plan were to go ahead, then the ordinary shareholders in the British banks could be uh, seriously disadvantaged. And there's growing evidence that the high street is feeling the pinch, with BHS profits down 40%, though the retailer's boss is bullish about the future. Do I think, you know, the consumer's under pressure? Naturally, yes, they are. Do I think, you know, we're, we're all going to have to work our way through this? We are, but I don't see corporate Britain closing down. Not quite so optimistic are the customers of Icesave, who tonight face the real possibility that they'll be the first bank customers to have to claim their money back from the authorities. Kate Harrison from Twickenham is one saver who can't get at her cash, and she's angry. There used to be certainties within banking. You used to be able to say that the idea of any major bank going bust or a country going bust was out of the question. And that's the trouble now. Whatever you do, it feels to me that by the end of the week everything else could change and, and we could all be in this position. The UK markets are now closed, but this truly is a global financial crisis. And these traders are sure to have another busy day when they return to their desks. David Bowden, Sky News.